another a mm. second tailwind that all of engineering is experiencing mm. is the drive to be more sustainable and carbon neutral mm. where is material science how is material science feeling that tailwind very much um, i think it's one of the big drivers currently of our science maybe it has always been but it was not so well visible people got crazy and then said it doesn't matter if we make a, a complete airplane motor out of platinum alloys <laughs> because it's a little bit more e efficient let's make it out of platinum this is of course uh, not a good way to do it so but sustainability was always in the focus and it becomes more and you see it for example I, i take my own example we were material max planck institute for research on iron and steels and so on and we decided to change our name to max planck institute for sustainable materials and one reason is iron and steel is one of the big drivers of carbon dioxide emissions. Yes. 10% of all worldwide carbon dioxide emissions is actually created by the steel production. It doesn't matter whether the carbon dioxide is finally responsible really for changing our climate, but it is anyway important to have a sustainable use of our resources. If we burn all oil and all coal, maybe it will heat up the atmosphere, but definitely the oil and coal will be gone. That is one important thing. So I have always been in favor, let's find ways to make that in a sustainable way and sustainable means energy which coming which is coming in will not be will be will come in from a, an unlimited resource like the sun 